Libtards and gentlemen, we have a major development. A U.S. Senator is in deep, deep trouble. Senator Roland Burris engages in some quid pro quo with the corrupt Blagojevich family. Senator Roland Burris promised to personally do something for Rod Blagojevich's campaign fund while pressing for the then Illinois governor to appoint him to Hussein Obama's former Senate seat, according to a wiretap transcript released Tuesday. Tell Rod to keep me in mind for the seat, would ya? Burris tells Robert Blagojevich, who headed his brother's campaign fund, fund in a November 13th phone conversation secretly taped by the evil FBI. The remark came after Robert Blagojevich urged Burris to keep me in mind, and you know if you guys can just write checks, that'd be fine if we can't find a way for you to tie in. And then Burris replied, okay, okay, well we, we, I, I, will personally do something. Someone also needs to inform every, everyone's favorite newspaper for lining bird cages with, the New York Times, that Burris and Blagojevich are Democrats. Larry Craig was always identified as a Republican, and so were Ted Stevens, Tom DeLay, and Duke Cunningham. This is a major development, folks. We have an affirmative action appointment to the Senate, engaging in gross political misconduct behind the scenes to get a position of power from a corrupt former governor. Roland Burris needs to resign effective immediately, and Governor Quinn needs a call for a special election this fall. If Burris were a Republican, Democrats would be calling for his head, but Burris is a Democrat, an affirmative action appointment to the Senate, and they're worried about this upsetting their quest for a filibuster-proof majority. Will the felonious Burris do the right thing and resign, or will he serve for several decades more like one of his fellow senators from Massachusetts who did something even worse and stayed in power? Now all Burris needs to do is get drunk, drive off a bridge, and his legacy will be complete.